Hello everybody, this is Michael from Village Island. How are you today? Village Island is the distributor of Deck Tech in Southeast Asia, Pacific and Japan. And today we decided to make a demonstration video of the Stream Expert and the DTU245. So those two products come, come often together. Uh, the DTU245 is the portable uh, TS analyzer. It comes with an ASI input and an ASI output. It connects through USB on your PC, on your laptop. So it's easy to carry around. And together with the Stream Expert, it, it makes them a very cost effective and a smart way and light way to do TS analysis uh, in your network. So you can move around uh, inside your facility or even going somewhere and carry it together. So uh, I have here uh, this top uh, we have installed already the Swim Express. The Swim Express is the software that uh, enables you to play out the stream. So for this demonstration, I will select this file and start to play. The rate is automatically computed by the Stream Express. You have many features with the Stream Expert, Express. Uh, you can play out a stream out of uh, all the deck tech adapter, RF adapter, etc. Very useful. So I'm using this as a source and I'm starting the Stream Expert. There you go. So Stream Expert uh, has on the top menu all these tabs, home, decoding, TR101290, recording. You have these two big panels and then some status and graph on the bottom. So if you go on the top, you can select what kind of monitoring you want to do. Do you want to do MPEG 2TS, OTT, or ATSC 3.0? When you do MPEG 2TS, you have the choice between ATSC, DVB, and ISDB. And you can select which adapter. So here, obviously, I don't have the other adapter than the DTU245, but you could also use uh, the local NIC for IP uh, stream analysis. So I'll come to the decoding later, TR101290 later as well. And uh, you see I have a stream received here and you can actually do a capture. You can specify a file where you want the stream to be uh, recorded and uh, just control it and from the click of the mouse to start your capture. You see the file here is increasing in size, it's being recorded. You can set it by size or by a maximum of time. And you have more menus, uh, view, uh, teletext, which may be relevant, uh, irrelevant, depending on where you are uh, in the world. But the main area you look in your stream expert when you do analysis is those two patterns. So the left and right are almost the same. They are equipped with uh, similar tabs. So you have the PID tab, the TS tab, and the grid tab, which is common to, to both of them. So the PID tab is the list of all your PIDs and the rate uh, are reported. Per PID. You can even see a minimum and a maximum. Uh, so you have all your tables, audio, video. If you go to video, you will find additional details like resolution. And if there is a PCR in the PID, you will get uh, the interval information, the accuracy reported here. Right? So it gives you an overview of your stream, but it may not be enough to give you the understanding of the stream. So. Let me open the second tab. I will use the, the panel from the right. And then you see you have services and you have tables. So service are all the service content in your multiple program transport stream. So here in this case, I have four HD, uh, HD programs. So each program is made of a video, an HD video here, H264 uh, and uh, two audio pair in this case. One is AC3, the other one is HEAAC. And those four service makes my transport stream. All right. And then you got the tables. 
So these are the PSI side tables defined in DVB, which you will find whatever in DVT, uh, CS, and also in ISDVT. And you can actually pass through your table and analyze what, uh, how your, type, your table and descriptor are defined. So for instance, if you go to transport stream definition, you will see for some this satellite uh, system descriptor here. You could find EIT information, etc. You can also add templates definition to specify uh, specific tables or descriptor that the bro a broadcaster has added uh, to the stream. Uh, and you can have understand the, the OTA firmware, uh, set box firmware stream added uh, to a stream with specific descriptor which are really proprietary and you still want to be able to analyze and read them so you need to add those descriptor. You can do that through the template definition. Uh, so then you get more views uh, on the bottom. The grid uh, view here is a, a 2D view of all your PIDs. Um, then you got the TV views, which is uh, a view to decode your stream. You, you just select the stream you want to decode. Here I pick up this AG stream uh, and it plays the audio. If you have some caption, closed caption, you can have those decoded together and visually check that. And you get teletext if you have some teletext and then the PCR view. So the PCR view on the bottom left, I select the service here, on the bottom left you have the PCR accuracy uh, in nanosec. And vertically is the occurrence of that. So you see it's centered around zero nanosec. It should stay within 500 nanosec in DVB, as you know. Uh, yes. So then on the right, you got the PCR intervals. It's your arrival timing of your PCR uh, in, in millisec. It should stay within 40 millisec in DVB and within 100 millisec in ISDB. And then on the top, you have a combination of the two one uh, in the bottom. So in horizontal, you get your arrival timing of your stream and in vertical is your PCR accuracy. So with this view, you can easily get an understanding if, if something is wrong with your PCR or not. So very useful to check uh, the first look of your PCR. Then you get the TR101290. So these are the errors according to the standard, priority one, two, and three. So priority one is when you, you lose a service, or you have packet loss, like here, this quantity counter error. Then um, you get this priority two, when you get a service disturbance, let's say you have something wrong with the PCR, like it's the case here with my test stream. And then you get the priority three, which are minor, like your carouseling of some table is too slow. Uh, may not be a big issue, but still you may want to know about it. So all these errors are shown here visually. But what is nice with Stream Expert additionally, uh, here I just do a, a clear of those errors. Uh, and yes, by the way, I have some error in my stream. So here PID error. And I think when the file will loop, Yes, here it loops. I have some uh, quantity counter error, obviously. But what is nice with Stream Expert, I want to say, is that all these errors, you can lock them in a file. So you select the place where you want uh, your file uh, on this to be, to load your error, and uh, you start the recording. And so what I'm going to do, actually, I will take this DTO2 for five and I'm just gonna remove DSI, see? And so as a result, I got the TS synchronous. So I, I will put the signal back. And as you can see, as a result, we got plenty of errors here. Uh, and so I stop the TR1120 logging, and I will just go to the file, you can see from here, or you can directly access it from your disk. Here it is. And so you see all the alarm, uh, the error that happened uh, with a date and time.
So that way you can set up a really easy monitor of, of your stream. Let's say you are on site and you find the stream is suspicious and you'd like it to keep this uh, easy setup running overnight to find what kind of problem happened with the stream. Maybe it can explain the issues that are reported by a customer. You come the next day you find some details of what happens with the stream. So it's really useful. Uh, then on the bottom right, you got those two graph view bit, for the bitrate and the tier 1290 view. The bitrate on the green, you got the TS rate. On the red is your data rate. What is in between is the new packet rate. Similar to um, a summary of, of the PID rate view you had uh, on the left panel. And uh, that's about it uh, for the main features for the TS monitoring. Then another feature is the OTT monitoring. So you can actually uh, here enter uh, a URL of the manifest. Uh, so actually I created an alias here. You can create a list of alias uh, and just select it and pa pass it. And so your stream expert will pass the manifest, analyze your video and audio with the list of all your stream. Uh, your adaptive bitrate stream you can see all those details and on the tv uh, decoding tab you can launch the service you want to decode here i, I select the sd service and you see just uh, so very useful to check your old stream you just need the url of that stream it works you can pick two dash and see the light so uh, very useful to monitor your stream um, the uh, Stream Expert uh, comes also on a USB dongle, so you, you may not need a DECTEC adapter to use it. Uh, you can also launch an IP analysis from the PCAP file. Let's say you have a Wireshark capture, you want to analyze it. Uh, you can do much more things uh, like uh, Dolby AC4 analysis, of course, STSC 3.0 analysis, so it's uh, so useful. Uh, so uh, we could talk more about it, but that's, that's uh, user-friendly and simple, so I, uh, I don't need to give you complex explanation. Uh, so thank you. thanks for watching, and uh, see you, bye.